you know, this was such an unpopular policy for a lot of reasons. People may not necessarily have minded having only one child, but they probably did mind the intrusiveness of the state into the bedroom. So in order to make it work, basically, they needed a stick or a variety of sticks. So forced sterilization was one. You know, they didn't trust that people would use contraception you know, on their own, so they, they insisted in many cases um, the, that you know, if you, after you've had your one child, you have to be sterilized like it or not, just do it. We don't trust that you will, you know, handle your This was your from the beginning? This was once um, the policy was implemented? Yeah, it was, it, it was pretty, and then they designed these kind of IUDs that you couldn't remove yourself, from, you know, you couldn't easily remove. And then um, there's forced abortions, of course. Um, this was, um, although theoretically, I think after six months, the um, forced abortions were illegal. Um, you know, it was in practice carried out in many cases, even as late as 2012. Uh, where we had the issue with uh, a woman called Feng Jianmei. Mm. Talk about her for a second. She's a really interesting case. Who's Feng Jianmei and why did she become prominent? Feng Jianmei was uh, a woman who, uh, from the countryside, and they had had a daughter first, and then they, she was pregnant with a second child. And she had believed um, or hoped that the second child was permissible. They had been working in the, in, in the cities, you know, and there was a certain fluidity because they were migrant workers. But in reality, her hukou, her household registration, was a rural one. And so the family planning officials came to her door and said, no, you can't have this child. If you want to have the second child, you shall have to pay a fine. And the fine was something like 6,000 US dollars at the time. It was something that they couldn't afford. They tried negotiating. There was a constant back and forth. She was, um, she was trying to evade family planning officials until she carried the baby to full term because she was running the risk. They could take you for abortion. And when it came down to a seven month, they took her away uh, with a pillowcase over her head. They took her to a hospital and forcibly injected her with uh, something that caused her to um, prematurely deliver the fetus. And um, we would probably not have known about this, the outside world, because, but there was social media. This was the new thing on the landscape. And so what happened in her case was uh, a relative had come to visit her in the hospital. Uh, and she was lying there on the bed with the fully formed fetus right next to her. And they snapped a picture and sent it on a cell phone. And this went viral in China. And this really brought forth the human face of the one-child policy. I was policy. living in 